ninguém que me ainda não anda leu mais Foi chiquito antes de tomar e com chips Uma canção passa com o pendeu Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, we're back again um, This is... I didn't mention or show you guys um, Just making my impression in front, of, in front of a church Since, yeah, since I was little My, my parents made me do that, you know God, so God bless Yes, protect me. So yeah, back to what, to what I, I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention or show you guys that um, yesterday I went and bought uh, uh, aftermarket pot filter. You know, you know that you know the filter that makes your car make you know. Or whatever, make the more the end, let the engine breathe more and make the engine noise more pronounced, or you can hear it more. Uh, yeah, so I went and bought it. Uh, so the way I did it was, you know, it's practically simple. Just remove your stock air box and install the filter but i've seen a couple of videos when you know when the well developed you know, aftermarket aftermarket air filters they have those you know secluded box so what i did i decided i thought and i said look if i'm gonna put this filter it's gonna be in the open and there's gonna be a lot of uh heat it's gonna suck in a lot of heat meaning uh, the benef the benefit of it, I'm not gonna get much of it. So, so what I decided is I'm gonna make my own secluded. So it basically, you just I just needed to um, seclude the filter so it doesn't suck as much heat as when it's in open. So yeah, dude, come on, there's no car. Saying hi, stupid, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided, you know, I gotta you know, make my own, and and also I decided, you know, I've also seen a couple Honda guys having, you know, their filters to the bumper. Well, that's how I also thought of doing it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So, basically, the reason I did it is very simple. Entire trying to make content, content, and also the car is not terrible at the moment, but at least I can, you know make as much much use of the 1.3 as possible since i've um installed the fuel pressure regulator yeah you should you guys should go uh check that video out i was i explaining step by step you know little by little and what you need and what you need to do to install that, that fuel aftermarket fuel pressure regulator so make sure you guys go check that video out and you know leave a comment like so yeah um it's very very easy to install our aftermarket you know power filter you can either put install the power filter on your existing pipe or you can get uh you know the kit where it comes with the um pot filter with also the pipe clamps and everything but in my case i no longer didn't need it because I um since the car was turbo, I used the piece of the inter intercooler pipe to make you know a section on a section where there's no you know standard um uh, stock pipe have those you know you know ribbits or whatever you call it that you know it's those things their um you know function is to muffle the sound the air that's coming 
into the engine. But since I don't need that, I just yeah, I use a section. I cut a section of the intercooler pipe that that uh that left that left over and yeah, um uh, yeah, and basically if you're installing a pop filter, make sure you it's away from the engine or it's you know so you know, blocked off, seclu secluded, that it doesn't, you know, suck in hot air. If if it's if it if you just install it and it's, and it's by the engine like a cold ram intake or short ram intake, it's basically you're just you know uh, money thrown out the window. <laughs> so it's just sucking um, hot air. You just you, you're just wasting your time. You're just getting noise, but not an extra performance as much as you need to so what you could do is use some kind of you know heat resistance something or some kind of something to block it off so it gets it's it sucks in um less heat as possible but more uh, that's why you got uh you know as other um, pipe of section that's hooked up that brings cold air outside to the filter and that's what I did. I did use the bottom of the airbox and also a section of the airbox pipe with another section I have. And I made my, you know, somewhat, you know, aftermarket cold intake secluded. And yeah. So may so probably the, the way things are going, I'll probably I'll probably just install the injectors with the um, for FD maps uh, map sensor to get more fuel. Since I'm probably somewhat bringing more air into the car, it kind of will sort of balance it out. I don't know, but I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more a somewhat of more performance. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys um, how I've got every um I've. Put it to put it together. Be mindful. This is just me. Just you know, sorry. Making what I making things what I got, and this is a you know, DUI. I did it. I literally did a DUI. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. About, about to show you guys right now. Put this up. Yeah. Put this up. Yeah. This guy got a few, you know, no more, no leaks still. I checked yesterday morning also, but also doesn't have to check it again. And yeah, no leaks. So yeah, this is the section I was told you guys about. In this section, you have the stock um, pipe. They have these kind of rivets. I don't know how you call them. It muffles the sound that's come that's coming that suck that the uh, let's say that engine is sucking it's mu it muffles the sound enters the throttle body but i've removed this and i've also pinned in the black uh yeah uh, these couplers i've also pinned in the back but i don't know heat also but yeah i might get you know black couplers later or how much just leave it at that or use a type of paint that holds more you know high temp yeah i also got a breeder oh yeah it's no need to explain how to install a breeder. It's basically, it's a bit simple as that. Just remove the breeder hose that usually goes to the intake here. You just move it. Um, and you just buy this breeder, put it on, screw it, and yeah. So yeah, this is my, how I did it. I used basically some kind of a, a container. I cut the half I didn't need and I use with the part I need. I also sprayed black, you know, just to make it a little bit more nice. Yeah, I had to cut here, you know, here to, you know, for it to clear. Yeah, see, so you guys see here. Yeah. Also, I made a hole for the um, air temperature sensor. And yeah, yeah, I'm probably not gonna remove. Um, the this I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put a picture uh, or oh wait I'll I'll show you guys um 
on the box. Yeah, that's what I got. I got the black one. It's a three inch clam on flange, five inch height, six inch base diameter. Yeah. This is the yeah. This is the name of the um type of you know company or whatever. Um yeah. Back. Yeah. So yeah, I so as you can see also I had to cut here for it to clear. But it cleared it cleared, it's perfect, it's it holds and I use this part of the section also with also this section. Don't mind my you know ghetto type you know, but it works just to hold the pipe here, here and also there. I'm gonna show you guys how where it sits like yeah yeah as you can see it's right there sucks in sucks in here from the outside here and yeah um i'm gonna start the car up and let you guys hear how it sounds yeah that you no know, delay starting is because the fuel had to you know there the, the fuel uh, the reason for it to you know it crank a little bit more is because that this the all the fuel had to feed into the fuel rail and since it got since the fuel has some um got animal ways to travel to the regular the regular needs to be primed in order for it to you know for the fuel to circulate so if you prime it like two times all good yeah as you guys can hear that you know that mm, then humming noise that's it that's coming from the filter and this is how it sounds yeah makes the car more yeah I love the I love this I love the sound. I can hear the engine more now. Turn this off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys can see. Yeah. I'll probably um. I'll probably install injectors. I'll probably. Um, I got a friend. He said bring the CT9 and CT12 and see if he can make a miracle. I highly doubt it. I'm already my mind is already set on getting a CT9 or a CT9 hybrid to put it on. But I told him, look, if you can make a miracle, put it together, and if you can like you know put and stop put it in your car and test it if it's good, man. And then I'll you know I'll give um yo man I'll I'll give you something for it. I'll you know pay. I'll give you something for the for what you did for me. You know I'll pay him. That's what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really thinking, you know, trying messing with the exhaust, something to give the car more tune. Maybe, maybe not. So yeah, yeah, guys, this is a small video of you know, you know, feedback of me just driving. I think two days. Yeah, let's say two days and also how it sounds and how it feels yeah it's it's on an automatic and all-wheel drive since this car is um all-wheel drive and automatic it's all out of the hole is a little sluggish if you don't you know slam on the on the on the gas but once it get going it's good it gets going i'm really 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 trying to find a, a manual gearbox so i can put it so i can put it in yeah, if, if I if if I can find a manual gearbox, where I can all all the um manual all wheel drive, then I have to get a let's say a, a, I'm a, I'm gonna go with standalone ECU so I can fine tune everything. But yeah, but now I'm just looking to upgrade um put every upgrade it little bit little back back again, and maybe and say I don't mind to get a turbo. 
you know, you know, I'll maybe try to get light in the car more. And since this car got the big transmission, big all-wheel drive transmission, uh, drive shaft, um, diff, it's kind of pretty heavy, especially when I put some music in it. I'll maybe light, lighten it, show you guys how he's maybe show you guys what you need to do. It, it was already done. I, once when the car was turbo, I removed the V-seats, uh, everything on the back. The car felt lighter. The car felt a little faster, but I had to put it back in since the turbo, you know, went out the door. I could have used it, but yeah. And also, the I also have the T25, T25, T28 uh, manifold. The reason I don't want to use that manifold again is because I don't want to, you know, remove my AC again. So yeah. But I'm, I, I've got the C29 manifold. I'm gonna use that. I'm a, I'm a see tomorrow what my friends can do. If not, I'll see what I'll see what again. But this is gonna do it for the video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next. Oh and yo, for thanks, I want to thank you guys for you know you know the some subscribers that I have you know for watching my videos like you know liking it and probably commenting. Um, you guys just, you know, keep, keep watching, keep liking, keep sharing my videos, you know, drop a comment, see, um, let me know what else, what you guys want to know about the Starlet or what, what want me to do with, the, on the Starlet, I'll, you know, I'll give a, um, I'll make a video on it, so you guys, and keep supporting the channel, you guys don't know how much I appreciate, man, yeah. But this is gonna do for the video. Just remember, guys, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment.